Moss. Je pick Moss. Something Moss or Moss? Uh, what or Moss? I think. I'm just trying to remember. Oh well, start of the second day. Yes. What time is it? About 8 o'clock or something? Uh, about quarter to 9. Oh really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bit of cloud cover today. Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice. Yeah, oh, it's cleared up a bit, but yeah. Did you see the little bird fly in front of you? Oh, what, a fantail, yes. Oh, was it just a fantail? Oh. Yeah. Because remember when we were, um, we were supposed to be going around Mount Hill when we going around. Good Mike. Going good. Yeah. yeah. Interesting zone here. Yeah. Kakas around it. Yeah, there's a few kakas. You can hear them and you can sometimes see them flying, but they don't come near us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, it's a bit of up and down. A bit of up and down still, yeah. Oh, we're almost level with that rock we might climb higher than it by the looks of it oh we're still climbing up be interested to see what elevation we've done and what amount of time because it's certainly a steep climb you guys are right can't hear them I really did lie to them. I called out to the others and said we're almost at the top. But I didn't realise that we actually had there was a flat bit for a while. It's a car crack there somewhere. And then there was a quite a bit more to go still. <sighs> oh boy, we must be getting close. Whew. That's a lot of steps and a lot of straight up a very steep gradient in some parts oh yeah we must be near the tops though uh, Adam. <laughs> I don't know how far they are behind I was calling out to them but yeah <laughs> I'll wait for them to catch up oh, well that was a steep climb I'm just gonna have a drink and some maybe a snack although I'm not that hungry really but just wait for the rest of my group to catch up we're in three groups of four today I think yeah or three groups of three or four so time for a bit of a pause I guess there's something going on above me there's some Kaka in that tree down. How many were did you see? About six of them. About six. I can see maybe three or two. Yeah, they're moving around about. That's what it is. It looks like. Oops. There's one. 
Yeah. Oh, parrots. Yeah. Yes, I had wondered, but I didn't know if it even got out to the ground here. Get a bit of a panoramic thing started with Lana. <laughs> And then Lana should sneak behind and then be in the panorama. Yeah. <laughs> That's a James trick. <laughs> it's just James getting out of being in it at all, isn't it? Sure, you did that on you, he, you did it on Parongia, I think, and then he snuck around. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. I did that in um, Queenstown too with the that guy. He's like, I'll do a panorama and you'll get you to run around. Oh. In multi spots. Oh, she is there. <laughs> down, down, down. Look how it winds its way down. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Yes. We're winning. <laughs> so far today, almost the entire walk has been boardwalked and or steps. Must be a really popular walk to that they put all this in. Oh, people, people again. <laughs> is there a view out there? Is there, or is it just? Oh yeah. Must get a lot of water running through here during the wetter months, eh? I wonder what that was. Part of the county logging, I'd say. Oh. Cody logging. What's your view? Fashion shoot up on the. Duh. Well, we're going to be in the new hiking calendar. <laughs> Hashtag girls on the map pack. George Harrison, the beetle with the best singing voice. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> And Ringo Starr certainly had the, I thought had the worst. Uh, I think it goes. The I think for the Beatles singing voices it goes. Uh, George Harrison, then Paul McCartney, then John Lennon, and then Ringo Starr. <laughs> but Ringo Starr knew. Ringo, Ringo Starr, Starr knew. knew he did. And he didn't care because Ringo Starr is Ringo Starr. <laughs> He's just happy to get to play his drums, I think. A lot of interesting patterns in these rocks, eh? Hey, what is it? Oh, I don't know. Rhylite or something, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, Mike would know. Our elevation is definitely dropping. That's a good sign. Should be near the bottom soonish, maybe. <laughs> a lot of water must come rushing through this bit during the wet months. Yeah, look at all that. Yeah, we get right up to there occasionally. Yeah. Looks like looks like we're coming up to another exposed bit. Oh, another slip down there at some point. Look at the wrong one. It's like no, we're only one one tenth. We're over halfway actually from the point from that point. Yeah, not much water at the moment, no. Very dry. Those cliffs up behind there. Oh, there's a river that runs through there. Not at the moment, though. All dried up.
you can see the little rock whirly pools down there where when it will be a bit more water. So what's this called? Yeah. Uh, Kai Ara Ara. Kai Ara Ara? Kai Ara Ara. Yeah, Kai Ara Ara. The so logging started in the 1790s in uh -huh. this uh, location and they used this dam here which is now not much left. Kind of dunk up the water with a whole lot of rocks behind it and then they'd lift up the gate and let the logs and all the things flow down to the sea to be cut up. There's some bushmen here on the photo. The Murray family, George Murray and his sons Ivan and Jack. Six foot eight, six foot six, six foot five. Holy crap. Carrying 35 kilogram jacks to move the logs around with. So they're a bit of giants. The style of dam is called a stringer dam, which is the uh, horizontal slabs running across, like stringers. And it was kind of basically some early Kiwi ingenuity to create this dam because they didn't really know how to build a dam. So they came up with their own design that got used around New Zealand. Yeah. Cool. That's what I know about this dam. Because he read the sign <laughs> and I said, can you read what was on the sign for me? <laughs> the ND Nico Palm. Got the arch bender. Yeah. Nico arch bender. <laughs> it's funny, eh? Yeah. Mm. Look in sick. See its little eyes. Little. Trying to trick me into thinking it's not there. Okay, sorry, sorry. Disturbing them when they're trying to mate. Hmm, useless camera man. It's a very knobbly tree. There for fights in it. Greening itself. Apparently the hut is just across the river, a very low river. Do you reckon you can find a place somewhere? Yeah. Even if it's Water. No, <laughs> it's a bit. Yep. Just shot a lana walking up towards it. I oh, know she's taking a photo of it. <laughs> <laughs> right. so oh, sweet. It's just us, which means I might be able to get a bottom bunk this time. No internal doors to them inside? No. Nope. Oh, it's got a separate kitchen too. Look at these seats. Crazy how <laughs> sit in them. See, tell me what it's like to sit in them with the crazy curve. Oh, I feel very low. Uh, <laughs> it's not unusual, isn't it? You can't look back on it. Yeah. Never seen seats like that before. It's quite a cosy little kitchen though. Yeah. Well, we won't be needing that. Toasty as and yeah, bit fine, huh? Yeah, be toasty in winter. Wow, check out this kettle. Sheesh. That's cool. Water, a lot of water in that. That's ancient. 
Somebody's oh, left some behind. Mine. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Bunks. I don't think I got a shot of the bunks with the first hut. Oh. There's no windows. Hydration. <laughs> A long antennae, possibly a cave weather of some kind. Look how long its antennae are. <laughs> Does it jump? Oh, 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 it, it felt me. I touched it. <laughs> uh, so they've got longer legs and yeah, this one looks smaller different. body. Huh? And it's kind of a different colour too. Like a, um, this one's more of a grey where those other ones were. Had more dark on the moon. Yeah. Yeah, long, long antenna again though. But yeah, just found a bit of a bigger one. Oh. I'll come around here. Sort? I don't know. I don't, I'm wondering if there's a few different varieties or if they're all the same at different stages. Yeah, those other yeah. ones might be young ones. Yeah. That's a boy, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a boy again. Them. Yeah, it's got no wave positor. Moving around. Um, more, more pork, pork yeah. yeah. Oh, See, that I've yeah. seen both. That one's a girl because it's, it's got the it's got the overpositor. Yeah. Of See the overpositor at the back there. Yeah. yeah. So she can put it in the dirt or something. I don't know where they put their eggs actually. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Sheet web spider. I don't think I've ever. It's another native nice. spot. A native spider. Know, so I've only just seen the webs. Yeah, well, that's what they look like. So if you see these, you see these sort of webs out in the New Zealand forest quite often. You come out at night, and you'll find that hanging on it. Wow! One of these, and I've always wanted to. It's a funnel web spider, a, a tunnel web. Sorry, the funnel web's Australian. That, that's a New Zealand. No. <laughs> can Can you zoom into the hole? That's. Uh, oh, I feel oh. mean. Oh, oh damn it! And it ran away. away. You got a bit of a video, didn't you? Yeah, I had to zoom in though. There we go, that's a vagrant spider, New Zealand vagrant spider, another native spider. We found three native spiders tonight. Three native spider species. Are those the ones on the giant elaborate webs? No, they hunt by, they hunt by, they hunt. So that, what's the, what's the name of the ones on the big webs? Uh, sheet web, this, oh, this is a vagrant, they hide in tunnels like the tunnel web. Oh yeah, that's right, you should have saw it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's a really cool cave weather of some kind just right outside our hut. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, over there. Oh, damn it. 